It's been a few months, and what I have before me is the $250 That Spider-Man Booth Superior V9 Mystery Box. You saw on this channel, a couple months ago, six weeks ago, something like that, open up four of the Superior V8 boxes at $250 a pop, $1,000 worth, and uh, they were bad. They were really bad. Um, I think they did a run that time of like 200 boxes or something like that, and the majority of people were not happy with their mystery boxes. The value was not there. The, the quality in the boxes just was not good. Um, I didn't see anybody that actually hit anything of any kind of value besides like $20 variant covers. It was it was the worst run of boxes I've ever done. In the past, I've always bought at least two of their superior boxes that came out, but this time, I, I only bought one just because my last time, I lost a lot of money on their mystery box. I wasn't happy with them. Um, I really slowed down buying from that Spider-Man booth after I gave them $1,000 of my money and kind of felt like I got slapped in the face for it from what I got out of the mystery boxes. But yes, mystery boxes are a gamble. I know 100%. But whenever you spend that kind of money and they guarantee you value and you don't get it, it just it's not a good feeling. So I only got one box this time. That is all I got. Um, their Superior V10 boxes, I think, go on sale sometime in April. Um, I'll probably get one no matter what because I like the higher-end mystery boxes. But uh, just buying one of the V9 boxes won't give me a really good picture of what all the boxes are like. So I'll watch a lot of other people on YouTube who open up these boxes, kind of see what they get to kind of make my assessment of how good the V9 boxes were to determine if I'll buy one or more than one of the next V10 boxes. But hopefully this box will come through for me and will be better than the V9 box. So for 250 bucks, they guarantee you value back. You can get possibly graded comics, you can get autographed comics, like I said earlier, a lot of uh, variant cover comics. Uh, they, you can get out some comics from, you know, the yesteryear. You can get out some old Silver Age comics. Um, so, but this is all a gamble. You don't know what you're going to get. And that's Mystery Box. So that's inside the box looks. You got V9 is right now. And V10 will be in April. So let's, let's get cracking on this. Okay, so I do have an art print at the bottom. I'll pull that thing out first just so we can see it. Oh, it looks kind of cool. Get out that damage in it. There we go. Oh, I actually got two art prints. That's cool. Um, first one, actually, this was actually ultra cool. We have a Batman and a Harley Quinn. It says, signed by Jim Lee. So that's awesome. I know the last run of boxes that they did, the V9s, there wasn't a whole lot of oversized prints in them and posters. And already, um, <laughs> these first two things, I'm kind of happier with these first two things than my previous four boxes. That's actually a really cool print. I like that. You know, for $250 boxes, this is the kind of stuff you expect, you know, little extra stuff like this. And there's also another bonus item. We have, this is the... Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I think, was it the 100th issue, the Turtle Mania cover, signed by Mike Vasquez, limited only 200 that were made. So actually, they, were, they, they probably made 200 of these boxes, and probably each box probably got one of these, I bet, I'm, I'm guessing. But mine's numbered 43 out of 200 made. So that's actually pretty cool. So with these two large signed prints already, <laughs> I'm happier with this box than uh, all four of my other boxes. But like I told you, this was a $250 mystery box. Like, that is not cheap. But this is what the front of the box looks like right there. You got your superior sticker. Back of the box, sides. It is still sealed. You can still see the seal on it. Has not been opened up by anybody. So it feels pretty heavy too. Hopefully it's not full of 10 $20 comic books like last time. I pretty much had a whole stack of just like $20 comic books and it was just, it was lackluster. But I'm trying to keep my spirits up on this. Trying to think positive. But my last four were just so bad. Okay. Um, I do have a graded comic, so that's awesome. I will do actually the graded comic last. Don't look. 
Okay, the graded comic, yeah. That's also, a, that's a CGC slab too, so cool. So I got a graded comic, but just cause you get something graded, doesn't mean it's actually gonna be any good though. Cause some comics graded only work like, you know, 50 bucks. Just cause it's graded does not mean it's gonna be a fantastic um, graded comic, but fingers crossed. I don't even remember what the top graded or the top hits of this uh, run was. Honestly, I, I don't think I even looked. So here we go. I don't know which one's going to be, um, I don't know. So we'll just start on this side. Each side has a signed comic right on top of it. So um, kind of like don't want to see what's coming up next. Kind of want to hide it. Let me hide underneath of the, the poster. There, I can't see it now. So here's the first one. Looks like it is autographed. We've got The Amazing Spider-Man number 800 variant edition signed by Ramos and signed by Don Slot, which is Humberto Ramos and Don Slot. That's a pretty cool little, uh, not little, but here's a pretty cool little, I keep saying little. Here's a pretty cool book. Particularly on the back of it, it says, uh, let's see, it was signed by at Torpedo Comics back in February 8th, 2020, and made in Spider-Man number 800. Certificate, okay. That first book's not too bad. That's not bad. That's something that actually I, I will keep. Stuff like this. Okay, next one. We have... Oh, Artist Miko, it says. Um, this is, I think, it's either a Venom number something or it's going to be a Amazing Spider-Man something. Let me go ahead... The back of these, I always like put a sticker on them. Let's see which one this is. If it's either a Venom comic or it's an Amazing Spider-Man comic that has Venom in it. And it is. Okay, this is Venom number seven variant unknown comics. Okay. Second one. They say it's worth about 40 bucks, but the prices on that are usually, usually kind of high. Next one. Another thick one. And we have, let's see, looks like Action Comics number 1000. This is a uh, Tyler Kirkham variant cover, looks like. Pretty cool cover. Action Comics number 1000. I already have a couple of the Action Comics number 1000. Other variants, like I have the Rob Liefeld variant. I think like two or three of those I got out of mystery boxes from that Spider-Man booth in the past. There's a Tyler Kirkham variant. Next one. And we have, let's see, Joker Year, the villain number one, artist is Boss Logic. Says worth like 40 bucks, I doubt that. But it's actually a really cool cover though. Next comic. Well, this one's looking at me. And so we have an older Spider-Man. We got Amazing Spider-Man number 95, says artist John Romita Sr. Grade-wise, it's not too bad, probably about a 9.0. 8.5 to a 9.0. I don't know if this is a key issue or anything, I have to look this thing up. But Amazing Spider-Man number, what did I say, 95? Yep, 95. Okay, it says worth about 75 bucks. We'll find out. Next one. These are all like facing up to me now, so I can kind of like, I see them when I pull them up. We got a Silver Surfer number 18, okay? Condition again, actually a little bit of a spine split right there, so that's gonna be probably about seven, 7.5 because of the spine split. But yeah, it's pretty cool, older comic though. Don't know the value of that one. And I think this might be the, nope, we got two left. Uh, two left. I actually already have this one. This is the Deceased number one um, variant. Actually, actually, I already have a couple of this comic, actually, from previous mystery boxes. And the last one... Nope, there's still two more. Next one. We have Blade and Wolverine fighting. What comic has Blade and Wolverine fighting? That's kind of recent. Drawing a blank on that one. This is... Wolverine number, this is Wolverine versus Blade number one, parental advisory, mature content. 
Is it worth about 20 bucks? We'll find out. And this is the last one. We have a Yusagi Yojibo signed by Stan Saki. Torpedo Comics. Front of it, there's a certificate on it, the back of it. So that's all the comics. We still have one graded comic left in here. Um, value wise for just this stack, I don't think it's too bad. Um, I got out a couple of older comics, which I really like that. Getting out some older stuff, mixed in with a couple sign sign stuff, mixed in with uh, some variant covers, nice art prints are right there. I think the value on this one already is better than the V8 boxes. I have a graded comic left still. It's bubble wrap, pull off the bubbles. You ready to see what I got? I'm kind of excited. Hopefully it's a good one. I'll show you first. You ready? In three, two, one. Who do we have? What do we have? Oh, oh man. Oh, okay, I, this is a, this is a really, really nice hit. At first, I saw this cover. I thought I actually hit Fantastic Four number 48, like the actual one, you know, from like the 1960s, or whatever. Um, but it's obviously, it's a reprint, but this is actually signed by Stan Lee and is graded at 9.8 CGC. So this is actually a really nice hit. At first, it totally tricked me out. I thought I hit Fantastic Four number 48, the actual original one, but this is still freaking awesome. This was signed by Stanley back on September 22nd, 2018. And it has a Stanley label on it. This actually is a fantastic hit. Honestly, this is probably worth probably about the entire price of the box I paid. This is probably pays for almost the entire thing. So that's actually, that's super cool so like this one will go into my collection for sure yeah i've got four or five signed comics now by stan lee and uh yeah i think this is ultra cool but yeah at first i totally that totally tricked me i thought i got a freaking graded fantastic four number 48 the original one but i'm very happy let's actually see some value on this stan lee passed away on november 12th 2018 this was signed on september 22nd 2018 so he signed this around six weeks before his death. So um, this might have been one of the last autograph signs he ever did. This might have been the last autograph signing he ever did. I don't know for sure. But um, yeah, rest in peace, Stan Lee. He's the godfather of comic books. I actually found this comic sold on eBay back in January. A CGC 9.8 autographed by Stan Lee sold for $202. So this is XM Comics over 200 bucks. So you can actually value this at about $200 comic. So I'm very excited about that. It's a nice hit. And this comic signed on eBay, looking at actual sold prices of 19 bucks, 22 bucks. Not a whole lot of sold, uh, 17 bucks. You put a value on this at about $20 then. So 40, or no, there is no price on it. So about Usually they have a price up here, but it's about 20 bucks. Wolverine vs. Blade is special. This is the Dan Wilkins Virgin Exclusive. Sold on eBay, 14 bucks, 14 bucks, 10 bucks. Not a whole lot of sold, 20 bucks. So 20 bucks actually probably is not that far off. So actually, I'll, I'll give it to him. It could probably sell for as high as about 20 bucks. This one, I can't find anything that's sold on eBay. Unless I'm not searching for the right thing, but... I'm seeing other variant covers. They sell like six, 15 to 20 bucks. So I'd say this is probably good, like 20 bucks or so in that range. So I'd say 40 is probably a little bit too high, but I actually couldn't find any actual confirmed listings sold for that comic. Silver Surfer number 18 in, you know, like a 7.0 condition or so, 7, 7.5 eBay sold listings. Um, I'm seeing like 12 bucks, 20 bucks, some very low ones for like seven. Seven. Here's like a 25. It's more of this condition. 25, 26. So I probably say it's probably worth about about 25 bucks in this this condition. So that's a nice one. Actually, I like getting out the older comics in these mystery boxes because it just gives you a little bit, a little bit of the past. You know, maybe Spider-Man number 95. I say this is probably going to be 8.5 to 9.0. It's actually in pretty good shape. I mean. This actually, I think this actually might be a 9.0 condition. It's pretty high condition. Pretty, I think this would grade pretty high. They said worth about 75 bucks. 
on eBay, like I'm seeing some that sold like 55, uh, 57. These people are saying these are like an 8, 8.0 grade. There's not a whole lot that sold on eBay, but in this condition, I actually, honestly, $75, I don't think is really that far off from the actual value. It's actually going to be pretty close. If an 8, 8.5 sells for like 55, 60 bucks, possibly a 9.0, I think this is probably 75 bucks. Honestly, it's probably pretty spot on right there. So that's actually another really nice hit. Okay, on eBay, just a few weeks ago, here's one that sold for $45. Um, there's not a whole lot listed, not a whole lot sold. This is actually probably, it looks like a pretty rare comic, actually. And the only one I can see that's actually been sold is sold for $45. A $40 evaluation probably isn't that far off. And the cover on this thing looks, it looks minty, like 9496 So $40, bucks, i would say it's actually, that's pretty close to value. So this time, their uh, prices on top have actually been pretty close to what it actually is, so I give them kudos for that. Action Comics number 1000, the Tyler Kirkham variant. This is the Virgin variant. I'm seeing sold listed on eBay for 10 bucks, 10 bucks, 5 bucks, 10 bucks. So it looks like this only sells for about $10 on eBay, so $40 on this one actually is incredibly high. So I just gave them kudos for their prices, and then the next one comes back being like 75% uh, overpriced. Venom number seven, a virgin variant. Actual sold prices I'm seeing 16 bucks, 13 bucks, 17, 17, 20. So looks like it could sell for as high as 20 bucks, so 40 bucks. It's a little high on that, but I'd say it's that's a good $20 bill right there. Amazing Spider-Man number 800 signed by Roberto Ramos and Dan Slot. I'm seeing this is actually the one in 25 variant. So this variant unsigned sells for, looks like around $10 or so in that range, 10. I saw it sell as high as 20. And then it's autographed by two of the artists. If let's say this sells for, you know, about $10 just raw, throw on two artist signatures, probably like, you know, at least 20 to $30 worth for both the autographs. So I'd say this is probably worth at least Honestly, probably about 40 bucks in that range. So that's really good. So just the comics in the big hit graded comic got a total of $470. Haven't even added in these two prints yet. So let's actually see the value of these. So looking at some oversized prints. Uh, actually, the 11 by 17 print signed by Jim Lee. I'm seeing one that sold for $79. There one that sold for $56. Um, that's all I see it sold that's this size in this print. So I could probably say maybe on average about 60 bucks for this print. So that's actually really good. So I see one that actually sold for $29 so far. Actual sold listings. Two people actually have them listed right now for, uh, for like $100 a piece. But one actually sold for $29. Bucks. So we'll just go by... The one that sold so far. So grand total of this box that cost $250. That was the ship price. This is more like it, that Spider-Man boost. So two big thumbs up. You came back strong with the V9 box because the V8s were pretty bad. But the V9 box, I bought one box. Total value of this box, $560. I got for $250. So over double my money back in value. So this is what we expect from the superior... Uh, boxes from that Spider-Man booth whenever they guarantee you good value. The first seven Superior Box runs were fantastic. Superior version 8, the last one was it, it, it was bad. And this is the V9. This one got a lot better. I only bought one and uh, this this one was pretty solid. Even you take out the Stan Lee um, graded comic, that would still put it at you know over $100 more than what I paid. Even you take this thing out, the value of this thing still wouldn't have been that bad. You know, wouldn't have been any huge hit, but it still would have been a lot better value than the last superior boxes. So I'm 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 happy that they came back stronger with this superior box. At least this is the only one I've seen so far. Just just mine. So hopefully other people have the same success as this one. And I'll make sure and be watching you guys on YouTube unbox your superior boxes this time. So that's all I got for you. I'm happier with this one than the last four I got, that's for sure. I'll see you next time. I'm out.